a translucent powder and tap it off. I like to let the spray dry a little bit, so sometimes I'll just kind of fan my face. You see how it's shiny? Um, and I, like I said, I don't, I don't not like that. I just prefer more of a matte look. So I will go all over my face again. There, and if I wanted a more matte finish, you can take our Blenderful um, latex free sponge and you could actually push it, press it into the finishing powder and then press it on your face. And then you can even kind of bl brush it a little bit too so it's not so caked right there, but it does give a nice matte look. Okay. And now I'm going to go with my eyelash curler. Where is it? Um, and curl my lashes. They are naturally long and blondish, but they stick straight out. So I have to use this. I've tried years and years to not use an eyelash curler, but I love it. So I go straight as close to the lid as I can. Don't pull like that. You can see it moving. And hold it for about five seconds or so. And then, I, and then I move it down the lashes a little bit more towards the end and squeeze again for about five seconds or so. And I always go back to the very base of my lashes one more time. So you can see a difference between one eye not curled and one eye curled. So I'm making these short YouTube videos of how I do my makeup in stages, like foundation, and then I did my highlighter and bronzer. I meant to do my blush with that, but I added my blush later. And then my eyeshadows, and now my um, pressed powder and finishing spray, and my mascara, just to kind of break it up so that you don't have to sit in front of a recorded um, video for an hour. I love Limelight by Alcone. I love that the, it's professional quality so it's 50% pigmented. I love, love the botanical foundation that's wax based because a little bit goes a long way because of the 50% pigmented coloring. Um, I love that it's it's fun that it's used in the Hollywood industry. Okay, mascara. I had it in my back pocket. It's this little secret tip. It warms it up a little bit for you before you pull it out and put it on. And I've also bent my wand. So when I pull it out, it comes out bent. See, just a tiny bit. Now you can see this is a fiber mascara. It has little tiny fibers. This is our best selling perfect mascara. I like to kind of wipe the clumpies off before I start. And now I start at the base of my lashes and I wiggle and I just sit it there and wiggle. You can pull it up like a traditional mascara, but this one has fibers in it. Sometimes I wiggle and move it up the end of my lashes. It just depends on my mood. But because the fibers are in it and when you first pull it out of the tube, the most fibers are there. Some people like to set them at the base, and when you just press it and wiggle it, it kind of releases them onto the base of your lashes. Okay, now I'm going to kind of press it or set it onto the end of my lashes and wiggle a little bit back and forth. Some people say wiggle real fast. Some people say you just, whatever you like, you just learn to do it on the way you do. So I haven't even pulled them through yet. But you can see the fibers sitting on my lashes and all the, the rich color. It's got a nice, rich color. Okay, now I think I'll pull up a little bit. And wiggle as I pull. You can turn the wand. Get some more in there. And 
that is one coat. Going back in and I'm twisting it, I'm not pumping it because if you pump your wand in, it puts air in the tube and that will dry your mascara faster. Mascaras should last, this one I've heard lasts about three months, but depends on your humidity where you live, how often or how much you wear of it each time. Pressing and wiggling. This is one of our other best selling products. Limelight began two years ago and it's a baby of Alcone and Alcone Company. I think it's called Alcone Company. It's Alcone for sure. It's a family owned business that began in the 1950s and they provided our awesomely famous botanical foundation made by the RCMA, Research Council of Makeup Artists. Um, for stars and on Broadway shows in Hollywood and then they made false eyelashes. That's kind of fun. Little trivia there. So this one I'm still press I'm still wiggling and kind of placing the fibers. I haven't pulled through yet. Okay. Somebody's at my door. It's the mailman. <laughs> So now I'm kind of pulling them up. I probably take too long to do my mascara, but because of the fibers, I just I don't want it to be clumpy. I want to make sure they stand up and not so straight. <laughs> so there's my other eye. You see? Now I'm going to go back in and twist and do the bottom. And what I like to do when I get the wand out after I do the bottom is to go over the top again. Okay. See, I just kind of go ahead and go down on my lashes here on the bottom. But see how rich the coloring of the mascara is and just doesn't take very much at all. Limelight by Alcone has done extremely well and so much so that they sometimes run out of stock, which they're working on. Um, and our mascara just came back in stock, so I'm very thankful. Okay, now I got my bottom ones done. Now I'm gonna take that wand without going back in the tube and just go ahead and start going up again, just pulling them up and twisting at the ends. It's kind of a second coat. That's really enough mascara. I just like to kind of straighten them up again. I don't know if you can tell a difference between this one with more coats and this one because it's still a little bit thick. I'm going back in and twisting it. I'm not pumping it. I'm going to kind of get the fibers off. Now. There we go. Okay. Over to the bottom lashes over here. Okay. So that's about it, really, for my lashes, bottom lashes. I want to try to separate them a little bit. This wand is really nice. Separates them really well. And then I'm going to go up, like I did the other side, I'm going to kind of pull through. And 
and if they get a little clumpy you can always take your fingers and pinch the area of your lashes that are clumpy kind of pull the clumps off but see I didn't really need two coats I think I put so much on the first time and everybody does their mascara a little bit differently so there's my mascara what do you think a little trick that I have, well, I like to curl them one more time, my lash, even with mascara on. I just kind of go over one more time with my, I just like them to be curled more. So, in particular, just a little light. There we go. Can you tell a difference? And then if they stuck together in the pinching, I can kind of fluff them a little bit with my fingers. I'll go over here. And sometimes if they get stuck together, I take a little pin, like a stick pin um, or a bobby pin or even a little um, clothing pin and just kind of try to separate them. So there they are lashes and then my secret little other tip for if you get mascara on your lid take a clean q-tip close your eye and just you see a little bit there run it over and then under and that also will get the extra shadow if you had any shadow that fell um, under your eye while you were placing it on And then I'll go back over here. I don't see any over here, but underneath I always like to kind of smooth my concealer into my wrinkles a little bit too. <laughs> and if I have a clump, I can just kind of pull it off. So there's my lashes. What do you think? Let's go ahead and finish me off with lip color. Okay. So my other favorite lip color that's Lip Enduring Color is called Macaroon and these Lip Enduring Colors last four to six hours or two meals. You might touch up the, the center part. It's a matte finish and this one's kind of our great for fall brownish mauve and a lot comes out on this doe foot wand so I like to scrape it and then this is great as a liner too. The more you put on, the more pigmented or more color it is. So. so there you go. What do you think? Do you like my look? Thanks, guys. If you have any questions or you want to know the more information about what colors I've used or applications or to check out my website, look on my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. Be blessed.